Hey, what's up everyone? We're gonna be looking at what I think is the coolest tripod hack ever. This video is brought to you by The Cinemachine, teaching you how to make better videos and more money as a video producer. These courses help us to continue to make great content on YouTube and a percentage of the profits go to charities. Check it out at thecinemachine.com. All right, so I wanna show you a tripod setup that I've been using for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it. In fact, I love it so much that when unfortunately this slider broke, I bought another one. Actually, I bought another two. So let me break this down for you. Now, generally speaking, I don't buy kits. So for instance, I could have bought this Manfrotto uh, head with the legs that came with it, but I find that uh, when you do that, I find that you spend more and you get less sometimes. So let me show you what I have found in my research and what I have found from my own experience using a lot of different tripod units out there over the 10 plus years that I've been doing video production. And this to me is one of my absolute favorites, especially for run and gun stuff, but also for higher end stuff as well. So let's start with the tripod legs. Down here we have the E-Image by ICANN GA752 legs. The reason why I chose these ones is because you don't have two different locking mechanisms for the legs. You only have one and it releases both legs which I have found, especially for one-man band operations, is absolutely essential. It's been amazing for me because it allows me to shoot faster during production because you only have one locking knob uh, for both sets of risers on your tripod, and that's for each leg. Now, there's a couple other things I really like about um, these tripod legs, but I'll probably go into that in another video. So let me just continue on here. The next piece that we need in order to make this kit work is a 75 millimeter ball head to flat. This goes down into the 75 millimeter ball head receiver. This is actually the E-Image 75BF by ICANN as well. So that goes right down into our ball head here. You cinch that up. And now we can either just attach our tripod head, our fluid head, onto there, or we can attach a slider. Now, this guy I have absolutely loved. This is the ProAIM WeGo 15. I've had the 12 as well. In fact, I have two different 12 units. I found the 15 gives me just a little bit of extra sliding space. You'll see at the bottom here that it does have the right threading for our half ball head, so we can simply just spin that guy right on there. Now on the tripod head, I actually use an adapter, which this comes with. So this is a one quarter, it also comes with your larger adapter to be able to fit the tripod head on top. So, so the last bit here that we're adding is a tripod head. I really, really like these MVH502AH uh, fluid tripod heads by Manfrotto. Uh, they're excellent. They can support a lot of weight, which is great when you're building out your rigs. You've got a wheel here that tightens and loosens your pan movement. You've also got a lock for your pan right here. You've also got over here the ability to tighten and loosen your tilt as well. And then on the other side here, we can also lock off our tilt. So if you get the Manfrotto 502 tripod head that has the flat bottom, then you're able to attach a slider right in between. Again, the 12 inch Pro Aim Wego is great. The 15 inch one is great. I've actually had the larger one. I don't know, I can't remember if it's 18 or 21 inches. Um, it was a little bit too large, especially with larger cameras. Once you're sliding that weight over, it really wants to tip. So you've got a bubble level on the slider and you've also got a bubble level on your tripod head and you can loosen this up and you can adjust for any terrain. The other thing is you can loosen uh, this guy up. We've got a lock and unlock wheel over on the bottom on this side, and then we've got a plus and minus tension over here. So what we can do is we can slide a camera right onto our tripod head, lock it off. We can then adjust here, and then we've got these beautiful glossy slides, which for a run and gun situation, it's absolutely phenomenal. I've used this setup on television shows for run and gun days 
uh, for B-roll. I've used this on corporate shoots and I've used this on just a lot, a lot of different things. So this kind of setup pretty much stays this way uh, all year round. Now there are some times when I do remove the slider and put the 502 Manfrotto tripod head right onto the tripod legs if I'm supporting a lot more weight. Let me show you some footage from this slider. <gasps> If you're interested in getting any of these pieces that I've shown you today, go down to the description below. You're going to find the links that will take you right to the Amazon page where you can find these different pieces to build out this amazing tripod hack. I hope that this has been helpful and I hope you'll join me on the next video.